Hello? Yes, yes, we've made it to the Bahamas. Yeah, we'll be here for a while. Okay, cool. Hello, welcome back if you've seen us before. If you're new here, then welcome aboard, and don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification button. This episode, we continue sailing and exploring the Bahamas. We help our buddy boat recover a lost anchor, welcome some friends aboard from Florida, sail to Staniel Key and swim with the pigs, and end up finding some amazing marine life, including an especially friendly nurse shark while snorkeling around a great little anchorage we ended up in. All right, let's go. $300 to cruise the Bahamas? For three weeks. $100 a week is what it's going to cost us. Unbelievable. That's freaking nuts. Other places are like 30 bucks, 50 bucks maybe. Yeah. Yeah. $300. $300. And everyone has been honestly very sweet, very kind, and helpful. Until that. Except <laughs> that lady. She's a real peach. Smile. Something. I don't know, but. She like snapped at us for yeah. not filling in something really odd on the forms that she didn't explain to us. Just such a peach. But, Your anyways, boat everyone else goes is under great. The, under the travel agency. Oh, how well, the heck how would I have known know? that? <laughs> Anyways, oh. it's all good. We're in the Bahamas. <laughs> Way fast. Head on. Such a bad accident, but all the good stuff you do. Now I know how to do it. Now you do. Mm -hmm. That's a good That's a good one. He wants to swim. No! Not anymore. Oh, <laughs> oh, of the numerous things to do in the Bahamas, swimming with sharks is one of them. Before anyone freaks out, these are nurse sharks. They are comparatively very docile creatures with relatively small teeth, preying on extremely small fish and pose very little threat to humans. Or kids. So we just got into the lower Exumas with Moose on the Loose and he um, hails us on the radio saying, He's having a hard time hook the anchor and then all of a sudden they pull the anchor up without the anchor. So we're gonna drop the hook and then go and help them try to recover their anchor. Um, it's very crazy. So we're getting to it. Operation Recover the Moose's Anchor commence. You want me to get over there? So what happened, buddy? So this guy <laughs> did an amazing dock job on the dock a few about six weeks ago. Where Switched is it? it out to our brand new anchor, and uh, yeah, put our brand new uh, 85 pound mantis anchor on, secured everything down, and then this was the securing dock job I did on the other uh, nut. Just look at that. Oh, great metal tie yeah. to nothing. Keeps the head of the bolt together though. So we're coming into Anchorage here in Georgetown. And what did we do? Drop the anchor. Drop the anchor and everything came, and we, we couldn't set it, obviously, because it wasn't attached to the chain anymore. <laughs> um, so I just have to dive and go and find it. Thank God it did not happen in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. Oh, that would be awful. Brand new anchor. Oh! Well done, boys! Woohoo! All right, we got it up. Ooh. All right, now let's get it installed, eh? <laughs> Ready for the chain. Thank you. Yeah, two feet maybe. Right about there would be fine. Okay. 
Oh, it's so easy to tie on. <laughs> so what do you want to do about this? Do you want to... Uh, well, well, Andrew's gonna pull it up, and then I'll, I will then, once I get back on the boat, then we'll reattach it. Okay. We'll secure it properly. We did it. He's going to lift his anchor. Why don't you grab the yellow rope? The first secure his good anchor. Then he'll pull up the temporary anchor by hand. And once he gets that on board, he'll just go and reset the big anchor for the final time. Okay. Per Ancient Mariner Code, after rescuing a lost anchor, you must discuss the probable cause and possible cure over a cold pint of beer. The next day we had a nice trip north to Staniel Key, where our friends Mike and Lauren would be landing the next day. Well, we've made it to Staniel Key, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Stunning. Stunning, just beautiful. Uh, it's hot because we have absolutely no wind. What are we blowing right now? Eight knots, which is like a breath of air. <laughs> but it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Oh my God. The cloud formations and the water. Just popular place to be because there is just a ton of mega yachts around too. Very few sailboats right now, but they're lost. Erica doesn't like this spot because it's too much traffic, but we have the most wind and the least amount of bugs here. So it's kind of a compromise right now. And usually when there's a compromise, we just do what she wants. Because <laughs> what baby wants, Baby Gets. We should have named the boat Baby Gets. Yeah, there's a lot of traffic. What? What's going on today, honey? Well, you're not helping me clean. For what? For my little woman. Whoa! Yeah! They land in about two hours, and it's going to be a blast. They're here for like, we don't really know, 10 days maybe? Forever. Yeah, I hope. Oh, that's going to be awesome. I'm Exciting. Video. Okay. Can you please help me clean? She's an angry elf. Well, since you said please. Our friends arrived safely to the heat of the Bahamas, so getting wet was first priority. Next was doing one of the most well-known and loved excursions at Staniel Key, swimming with the pigs. They turned out to be very well mannered for our group and none of us got bitten, which happens from time to time if you're not feeding them with enough attention or their favorite foods like carrots and bread. They turned out to be quite picky eaters actually, which went against what we had always thought about pigs, that they would eat just about anything. Perhaps these pigs are used to a higher class of visitor. All right, all right, all right. What are we doing today? Driving. A what are we doing today? Rachel's Bob's Rachel's baths. baths and something else. We're then moving again to somewhere else. Rachel's baths. Oh, Rocky some caves. Dundas caves. Man, Johnny it looks Depp shallow Island. right there. Oh yeah, going to Johnny Depp's Island. That's cool. Snorkeling. Sunken plain. Oh man, that sounds awesome. Yeah. Man, it seems shallow right there, huh? It does. Yeah, it wow. is. That's odd. It's We're odd. in the middle of the channel. Yeah, well, it's hot and we have three knots of wind. You guys, this is the hottest I probably have ever been, honestly, consecutively. Like, we've driven through Death Valley. Yeah, I know. We've driven through, like, uh, what was that? Yeah, desert, and that was hot, but we had air conditioning in the truck. Valley of the Fire was hot. This is the hottest I've ever been, Miles. Seriously? Yeah, consecutively, yeah. Is it not the hottest you've been? Oh, no. <laughs> you can't sleep on it. Oh, that's alive. This is Florida. Beep, no. Bleep no. Bleep no. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you have to work in this. In yeah, like and a long sleeve, hard hat, long sleeve, sleeve another vest on oh, top, man. With jeans. You know what I say to that? Bleep, bleep that. that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we just got to Wardrick Wells. That doesn't make it any easier. Coming for us. 
Yeah, they are. Stop. 